Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome. This is our special Saturday morning Sherlock Nation presentation. My name is Brandon Ivey. I'm a double diamond with Sherlock Nation based out of Los Angeles, California. And this is a special presentation where we are going to give you guys some new information about what's going on with the company, some updates. We have a full house today, so we are recording this for those of you that's not able to make it on live. But you are in for a treat. You're going to hear from our CTO, Mr. Thomas Bang, and also from our CEO, Mr. Michael Weeder. So without further ado, I hope you have pen, pen and pads so you can take some good notes. I want to bring up our CEO, Mr. Michael Weeder. Michael, are you there? I am, Brandon. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. The floor is all yours. Terrific. Thank you very much. I, I want to wish a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all our Sher to Sherlock Nation all across the world. I'm really excited to be able to share with you guys this morning and uh, over here actually in, in Santa Monica at our home office. And, uh, you know, a couple of things I wanted to give you some updates on some things that are going on with Sherlock and then also tell you what to expect. But I, I want to talk about, you know, we, we've been really since September of last year um, and when we went and actually did our, our international convention and then going in and announced some of the new programs which we launched in November and just to kind of give you a little bit of a feel for kind of what's been happening in a corporate since November um, a few of the things that we've done you know we heard that from a corporate communication standpoint um, they wanted you know you guys wanted more communication from from corporate so we actually started our newsletter um, that justice basically is spearheading and the newsletter as you guys know is now coming out every month or every week so it's a weekly newsletter we also you'll see in your back office um, when you go in under the what's new right at the top there you'll see also information coming consistently and, fr and frequently now from corporate as well um, and on the newsletter we've got some great things that we do you know not only do we talk about you know recognition and recognize the people um, that are excelling in the business and, and the people that qualify for the cab bonuses and other bonuses we also now do a spotlight section where we actually highlight you know somebody from the field as well and, and tell their story and then we update you on you know not only what's happening at the company from a technology standpoint but also events that are happening contests and then we've got like a technology corner with regards to you know different things that are happening in the industry some of the trends that we're in front of so we're really excited about that that's come a long way from the corporate communication standpoint the other thing is is that we you know we have announced some new bonuses um, we announced the cab bonus and the cab bonus has been a tremendous program uh, and then even with the cab bonus you know we initially launched just to, to so we initially launched the cab bonus and when we initially launched it you needed to get for the week you needed to get two people two new customers and those two new people had to bring in two new customers within 30 days um, and what we decided to do just based on the feedback that we got from the field was even simplify that so we took away the requirement that your two new people had to get two new customers and all you need to do is get two new people and two new customers in the week um, and if you do that and they both are basically sign up for their monthly subscription and paying here if you do that you participate in the cap program and what happens is if you do it for example today which is Saturday you get paid by next Friday uh, and the cab bonus has been running between $125 to $150 a share um, so it's a great way so you could actually literally get somebody involved in the business and literally in their first week in the business they can make their initial purchase price back and be in profit um, so we're really excited about the cab bonus uh, the other thing that we did you know and, the, and, we, and we tweaked that and then we've got we, we instituted also a diamond bonus the diamond bonus is for the diamonds and above and what it does is it pays out a percentage of the revenue for the company on a monthly basis so we've got the diamond bonus that we did and then we announced the get for pay no more the get for pay no more basically what it means is that you know if you get four people that are on your month on monthly subscription your monthly subscription is free so not only can you pay for your business now really in the first week but if you get four new people yours is free so there's no you don't pay anymore on the monthly subscription either when we originally came out with the 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 the, uh, the get four pay no more 
some of the feedback that we got from the field was, hey, because what was happening was that one, one of those four dropped off, either they were no longer on auto ship or they got four uh, and didn't have to pay. We had said that you needed to replace that person and we heard from the field that, hey, they would rather see that they felt like, you know, that they would rather see that if, if somebody that they brought in got four, they would still rather see that count towards their four. Um, and we went ahead and made that change as well. Again, listening for the feedback from the field. So we're really excited about all those programs. And as well as that, you know, we've laid out, if you look at the different events that Sherlock has, this coming, you know, that, that have been laid out, you can go to our calendar section and be able to see that. But here, you know, this next month here, in, 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 in literally a couple weeks, um, we've got, a, you know, a couple big events in Dallas. Um, and I'll be going to those events, and then we've got events that are going on, as you know, in the UK all the time. We've got in, in May, we've got our four-year anniversary in the UK. Uh, in June, we've got our cruise basically to, the, uh, to the, uh, um, the Greek islands leaving out of Venice, uh, Italy. Um, there's still a couple cabins left there. Go to our homepage if you are interested in going. Go to our homepage. I think we've got seven cabins left. Go to our homepage. And click on the, the uh, and go down to the cruise and click on the cruise. Um, but you know, and and you need to actually get in touch with Walt, who's our cruise director right now. So we've got that going on in June. Uh, then we've got basically the international event again happening at the end of the year, and we're topping off the year in December with a phenomenal event with Sir Richard Branson, Tony Robbins, Eric Warre, and a lot of the you know seven-figure income earners from around the world with 17,000 people in Las Vegas. And we're following that up basically, and that's on December the 3rd. It's actually on the website as well. And then we're, at, and then we're following that up, so, and that ends on Saturday, and then on Sunday we're going to have a big Sherlock event there as well at the Las Vegas Convention Center. So um, we've got a full packed year for you guys, but more important than, you know, than, than all of that also is really the lives that we're changing and the opportunity because as we, can t as we sit here and, and basically talk, What's happening is that the trends that we're in front of with regards to e-commerce and mobile and mobile commerce continue to sweep the world. These things are growing, guys. It's a trillion dollar industry growing at a rate of 20% per year. Mobile commerce right now around the world is growing at 40% per year. You're not going to see this kind of growth, basically. You know, we're, we're in a situation where there's almost a land grab happening right now you're not going to see these levels of growth forever. Um, you're going to see continued growth in e-commerce. You're going to see continued growth in mobile commerce. But if you're just sitting back watching this happen and not participating and getting your piece of the pie, you're going to be missing it. So, you know, here is your chance to be able to get in front of these trends and for you to be able to get a piece of these trends, basically, and be able to profit from these trends. And so, um, you know, don't continue to, see, you know, to, to just sit back and watch this all happen. Um, make it happen for you and your family. And, you know, when we talk about that, you know, and, and being able to do it, again, I want to share with you guys a little bit, and the purpose for this call today was to talk a little about some of the other products that we have and give you an update on where we are with some of these products and what's happening with the products. And so the first thing that I want to talk about is Sherlock Local. I know a lot of people have been waiting on Sherlock Local and, uh, um, you know, waiting kind of for the, the re-release of Sherlock Local. Um, so I want to talk about Sherlock Local and, and share with you some of the changes um, and some of the things that are going on. And so what we've done, you know, we originally brought out Sherlock Local at the event in November, I believe that it was. And so what we've done now is based on the feedback again that we got, that we got from everybody, we really needed to, what was happening is we put out Sherlock Local and we had a lot of questions about it and people didn't really seem to be able to grasp it fully. So we've been fortunate, we've been working with a gentleman by the name of Mario who's basically been championing this and spearheading it. And uh, we've been really, over the last couple of months, really retooling Sherlock Local. And you can see on your screen here, this is the new, basically, iteration and version of Sherlock Local. 
Um, you know, it, it, it literally, when you look at it and you look at, at, you know, it shows how it works, it shows all the deals, the coming soon, um, you know, ending soon, what the hottest deals are. You can also do a, a drop down menu by, you know, where it is that, uh, that Sherlock Local is going to be. We've got it so that um, it works with all different, you know, it, it basically is, is going to be localized in your different language. We're, we're localizing it now for currencies as well. Um, we're really excited about this. This, this. this really rivals Groupon if you look at it from a look and feel. Just scroll down a little bit, Thomas, if you would. But if you look at it from a look and feel standpoint, it really it rivals Groupon. This is one of the deals, for example. Thomas had clicked on a deal, and, and if you go to the top, you'll see it's basically this was a health and fitness deal. Um, and it shows what the deal is. On the right-hand side, if you want to give this basically as a gift to somebody, you have the ability to give it as a gift. You can buy it right now. It's in uh, the Costa Rican currency there, so you can buy it in the local. It shows it on the local currency. Like I said, it also you can do it in Spanish or in English. We're going to have the ability to do different languages as well all throughout the world. And if you look on the left-hand side down, you also have the ability to be able to share the deal. You can share it on Facebook, on Google+, via email, on Pinterest, on LinkedIn, on Twitter. So you have the ability to be able to share the deal with other people to be able to get them to buy as well. So we're incredibly excited about you know, where we're, you know, the evolution here of Sherlock Local. Uh, a lot of it is based on your feedback. And so, you know, what's happening, and, and we've decided to manage the rollout here this time. So what's happening is that it's going to be launching here in Costa Rica. Um, and then from Costa Rica, we're going to kind of refine it, get, the, you know, whatever little bugs we've got on yeah, out of it, and then we'll be rolling it out to the rest of the world. Um, so stay tuned for really the rollout plans, but we wanted it to do it in a managed way this, way this time, rather than releasing it to the entire world. Uh, we wanted to really do it in a managed way where we got the feedback, we refined it, um, and, and, and then started to roll it out in a, in, in a way where, you know, we're not going to get bombarded by, you know, a, a number of questions. We've got success stories and case studies that we've built up that we can share with you and so forth. And so we're really excited about this program, about Sherlock Local. Um, and then, you know, we're also working on a new platform also with Sherlock Travel. Um, and the Sherlock Travel platform, you know, just to let you know, so, you know, our provider for travel, and, and, and here's always what our goal was, guys. Our goal was to, to actually have a travel platform and be able to give you guys deals on hotels and cruises and rental cars and, and all kinds of discounts and so forth that rivals and is, if not better than any travel company that's just a travel company out in the direct sales space. That's our goal. Um, and, and, you know, our product provider that we've actually chosen, um, they had to, to, to change technology partners. And so they made that change. And now, basically, one of the reasons that they did that is they wanted to also come out with a mobile app. And now that they've done that, um, you know, and the technology is being integrated, you're going to see the launch of our new Sherlock Travel platform here. You know, I would say, you know, within the next two to three weeks is what they're telling me right now. Um, and given, you know, what I've seen of the new travel platform, I think they're probably going to be able to hit that, you know, that, that deadline. You know, we don't control the technology or the integration with the mobile app on the travel side, so we're a little bit at, you know, at a third party's mercy here. But, you know, believe me, the travel platform is going to be a tremendous platform. You'll be able to get some great deals on all kinds of different things that then you'll be able to share. We've already had some great sharing and saving stories, um, you know, coming from our travel platform. So we're really excited about this. And, you know, guys, what it does is it basically goes hand in hand. If you look at what we do and really the, you know, how we're branding ourselves, you know, we're the mobile company in the network marketing space. And really what we do is we're able to find people great deals on products and services at great prices. That's what we do. Um, and when you look at, you know, what, where we are with regards to on different products that you might see that you're interested in buying, whether they're the local deals, 
um, you know, also for your local businesses or whether it's travel related. Um, that's the niche that we feel that we feel is that finding those great deals and how do you build your business? You give the app away for free, you make money as people benefit, and you build a team of people to do the same thing. And in today's environment, guys, where you're seeing a lot of these product-based companies, some of which are billion-dollar companies that are out basically marketing products where they're having to mark them up seven times you know, from a manufacturing to what they wholesale the product to the distributors, and you're seeing those products start to come up on websites like Amazon and eBay, where they're being sold for literally for less money, and a lot of times substantially less money than you can buy that product for as a, as a distributor of that company on wholesale. When you look at those trends that are happening, when you look at the trends that are happening in e-commerce and mobile and mobile commerce, when you look at our model, which is giving it away for free, making money as people benefit from the use of it, and building a team of people that do the same thing, and being able to build that team anywhere in the world and literally run your business from your mobile phone, when you look at those opportunities that Sherlock provides to be able to do that, we feel like we have the best opportunity in the industry. Um, and we're continuing to refine our product to make it simpler and easier to be able to use uh, and also to be able to you know share the opportunity better and with that being the case I wanted to talk I wanted to bring Thomas on today and talk a little bit about the upgrades that we're currently working on for our app um, and again you know the this is you know we wanted to let you know we've listened to the field since the release of our app and you know we're working on the different areas that we've been, that we've you know uh, we're told that you know they would like to see improved, um, and we're adding a couple other features and functionality for the goal of being able to increase the engagement and increase your usage income as well. So those are some of the things that we've been working on behind the scenes. Now Thomas today is going to show you a, just a few of what you'll see with regards to the improvements in the app. Um, but I will tell you this, you know, when you look at the process, the process is, you know, we went ahead, we got your feedback, we, and, and the, the technology, the development process is such that what you first do is you wireframe the new, uh, uh, you know, what you would like to see new, the new changes. From those wireframes, basically, and the wireframes, I think there was 85 different wireframes, and from those wireframes, you then have a designer that designs, basically, you know, the new changes, the new app, um, and that's about 80 slides of designs that you'll see. From the designs, you then basically put together a uses case document, which shows that if somebody does this, then this is supposed to happen. It goes to this screen. So you really then draw it out through a uses case. Then you bring in a programming team that basically programs all of the new changes. So that's really what the process is. Um, and Thomas has done a great job managing that process. Just to let you know, we've hired one of the top 10, what I believe is mobile firms, mobile development firms in the world to help to program basically some of these, you know, the new app that we're developing. And, you know, when you look at it, you know, again, and, and being able to do that, we literally probably got 75 proposals from firms to go ahead and handle our development, and we chose, you know, one of the top firms in the world to be able to do that. So what I want to do now is introduce our CTO, uh, Thomas Bang, and Thomas is going to share with you just a few of the features uh, and functionality changes that you're going to see base, that you're going to see in the new app. Uh, Thomas has been instrumental in being able to not only work with the company that did the wireframes and the designs, but also in the hiring here and the getting started of our development team. Uh, he's done a phenomenal job with that. Uh, you know, he's been with the company now for literally um, three and a half years, almost you know going on four years. Uh, you know, he also is committed to being able to give you guys the products that you need to be able to go out and take advantage and do business and, and you know and build your business and be proud of the company that you represent uh, to be able to give a simple and easy user experience and to really position you guys in front of these trends that are sweeping the world with a product 
that you can be proud of and that can be your vehicle to financial freedom. So with that being said, uh, Thomas, I, I, I leave the floor and so forth to you. So uh, Thomas Bay, right. everybody. Great. Thank you, Michael. Um, so, you know, what we wanted to do was, again, what, what Michael had mentioned, was give you guys an update as to, you know, some of the new features that's going to be coming with our new mobile app, um, as well as a glimpse, a visual glimpse as to what it's going to look like. You know, um, you know, we don't want to wait too long to actually give this news to, or at least give you, you guys these updates because we're so excited about making these improvements. You know, I, I just, I can't wait long enough. I wish three months would go by or the next couple of months would go by already. Um, but, you know, what we had done was since the inception of our mobile app, uh, we've been really listening, you know. I mean, of course, when you launch something brand new, um, there's going to be some trials and errors, and there's going to be a learning lesson as well. And, you know, we've been really listening to the field, and we've been hearing some consistent things from the field. You know, um, if you can actually see this slide now, you know, we, we do listen to our field. We have a ticketing support system. Uh, we have a corporate email account where, you know, any concerns, any feedbacks actually gets directed eventually back to Michael and I. And, you know, the, the consistent theme has been like, the, you know, the shopping experience isn't easy on both our app as well as our website. Um, one of the key important features is, is actually inviting people to use our website or to use our platform. And, you know, our, yeah, our invite system needs to be easier to use. And, you know, once we actually launched certain features such as a loyalty program, I mean, there has been confusion as to, you know, how people actually acquire points and, you know, how many points it actually takes to actually, you know, transact that for a, for a gift card. Um, there's a lot of confusion going on. And, you know, this is what we've actually been working hard at for the past few months is, um, is exactly those things. How can we make this easier? How can we make it so that's easily understandable for the average user? So the list of improvements that we've been looking to do with this next go around is just an overall improved user experience, um, regardless of what you're using, whether you're searching for a product, whether you're searching for a deal, hotels, flights, um, even a new feature, which we've been wanting, we've been wanting to implement this in the past app. Um, but it wasn't quite, we weren't quite there yet, but, you know, this go-around, we're looking to add a new feature called the coupon section. Also streamlining our current invite system. Um, you know, there's a lot of confusion as to how people actually invite people, and when they do invite people, what they need to do next. Um, and then the, some of the, and then the main feature that we actually do are, are uh, implementing into this new round is actually monetizing on the traffic uh, traffic through um, mobile and desktop ads. Okay, so here's a glimpse as to what the new product search can look like. As you can see, we are no longer going to be doing the whole pop-ups uh, per se. We it's going to be a purely a keyword search. Um, we are also looking to add in the the price scanner to this as well. Uh, but this keyword search is literally a one-page result from any of our partners that we are actually affiliating with uh, to show up as one result rather than a bunch of tabs and pop-ups. So this is one of the major improvements that we are doing. Um, you know, the product section is most likely our, our main feature of our app, and this is where we really need to bulk up um, the user experience for it. So... Hey, Thomas, you know, the lag time. <laughs> Thomas, the lag time on it is a little. So you're saying right now, everybody's saying the list of improvements, basically. So we haven't gone into the screenshot. So you've got a little bit of a lag time going on your end. So I just wanted to let you know. Okay. So well, let me just confirm with you guys. So do you guys actually see the product search page? I, I, I'll kind of take you through it. So right now, it's starting to, you know, kind of work its way down to the product search page. But again, there's a lag time, so we're kind of in the middle of it right now. So um, it hasn't quite come up yet. So okay. I, 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 there it is. So now it came up. Yeah. So just reiterating, as you can see, uh, with the app as well as the desktop. Um, it is a keyword search. We are looking to, at least for the mobile app, putting the price scanner as well. Um, it's a one-page result. You know, we're we're moving away from 
the whole, you know, the pop-ups uh, in the different tabs of the different websites, which is not a very user-friendly experience. So as you can see here, um, yeah, it's just it's just very clean, one page, very easy to use. Um, just can't wait to actually launch this particular feature. So you know, the next uh, as it's loading, the next uh, you know the next screenshot you'll actually see is actually an invite, an improved invite system. Um, and Michael, if you can just verify with me that that's actually showing up. It is showing, Thomas. Okay, great. So you know, with our current invite system, you know, the problem has been is that you know, as you invite people, it generates a very unique type of uh, invite code um, that seems to not work sometimes only because it's probably the users are not really making sure that it's a case sensitive invite code. That's something that we're working around to make that a lot easier. Um, we're also avoiding the whole invitation page that we currently have where people, you know, where you send out an invite and then it takes them to the invitation page. And then from there, I guess the, the website is really, is not really optimized or understandable so that they, they can either sign up for the website or download the mobile app. It seems like there's too many options on that page. So we've simplified this entire process so that when you invite a user, what is going to happen is regardless if they're on the mobile app or the desktop, it's going to ask them, it's going to take them to a registration page, really. Um, and it's actually a website that it takes them, but it's going to be mobile optimized. It's going to be responsive so that it, you know, the layout actually, uh, you know, matches whatever device they're using. And once they download it, they can immediately use the app. Or if they're using a mobile device, they'll actually detect that and ask them, hey, we actually have a mobile app. Would you like to download it? They'll recognize whether it's an iPhone or an Android, and we feel that that's the best process because, you know, the main thing is that we want them to get registered and start using the app, and that, that's, that's the main goal to this. And, you know, with what we currently have right now, we, we sort of lose that only because, you know, we, we, we take them through several steps until they get to that point. So, you know, again, this is just a better user experience, as you can see here. Now talking about the, so, uh, Thomas, you know, the Thomas, why, Tom, Thomas, while you're doing that and you're going to the loyalty points, I just want to comment on that for a second. So guys, sure. here, in, here in network marketing, you know, one of the things, as you know, um, you know, we are looking to be able to, in a normal network marketing company, if you're looking to be able, and it's a product-based company, for example, and you're looking, and you've got somebody that's either interested in the product as a customer or interested in the product as a potential distributor with that company. Typically, <coughs> typically what happens is that you will share that product with somebody, um, and then they need to, you know, get some kind of experience with the product to see if they've got a good experience or whatever with the product, right? And then they'll come back, and then you'll follow up and find out maybe if they're interested in becoming a distributor. The great thing about our app, guys, and what we have, you can share the product right over your mobile phone. You're out somewhere, basically, and, and you meet somebody that's got a mobile phone. You can invite them to be able to download the app. You can share with them the opportunity for the company right over your mobile phone. It's instantaneous. And then they can go. You can be out somewhere, and they can get a, you know, a, an experience, basically, using our app immediately. You've got a customer. Because and and you're notified that you be, that you have a new customer and it gives you the ability to be able to not only share our product but share that opportunity instantaneously right from that mobile app anywhere in the world. Nobody else really has that kind of opportunity with the, the with the company, so we're really excited. You know, with you know with their companies, so we're really excited about that. And as you know, the growth in the use of mobile phones, everybody's got a mobile phone, so. Um, with this new invite system um, and your ability to be able to expand your business, um, we're really excited about, uh, and that's one of the reasons that we're making these changes as well. So back to you, Thomas. All right, thank you. So, you know, the next uh, screen that you see are the loyalty points. Uh, the, the purpose of showing you this is that, it, you know, from a look standpoint or the, actually the features, it's very similar to what we currently have right now. But the difference is, is that, you know, that overall improved user experience, the understanding of how our system works. You'll notice that there's a little, I mean, you might not be able to see it because it's so small, but 
you'll notice there's like a plus 50 to each of the people you invited. That's actually the loyalty points itself tied to the whole invitation system. Um, you know, we're, you know, since we've launched the loyalty points, we're still trying to figure out in terms of point assignments what we should actually assign points for, like the, the different activities. Uh, moving forward, you know, tracking is definitely one of those uh, areas that we are improving on. So as we, as people make purchases or they actually make purchases on our Sherlock local um, platform, uh, we can we can contri attribute points to that because we're going to be able to at least with a lot of these different features now track it back down to the user that's actually purchasing. Um, you know that's something that we've had a hard time in the past doing only because the technology that our affiliate partners gave us they didn't really allow that. But moving f from this point forward, the relationships that we're acquiring now they do have that technology. So again, it's just you know, there's so much possibility now that once we are able to launch this new app and start getting in all the different data from the sales, uh, you know, that's tracking back down to the user, we're going to be doing, we're going to be able to do so many things with that. So that, that's just a little bit about the loyalty points as well as the tracking. You know, the next the next uh, screen you'll be able to see once it pops up is the coupon section. You know, well. Uh, you know, what we did was we took a look at, at least here in the United States, one of the biggest coupon companies, which is called Kitomi Not, and we we benchmarked off of that. Now, you know, it's 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 easy. It's just it's just a keyword search, keyword search, and around your area, it will actually pop up coupons um, that are you know that are near to you. This is a feature that I feel provides more value to our customer base. Uh, we're always looking to add more features that's actually that's actually going to be valuable to our customers themselves. So that's that's the coupons itself. You know how it's going to work is you look for a coupon, you go to the details page, you want to get the coupon. Once you click on it, it'll, it'll actually tell you what the coupon code is, and you can actually either you know it'll tell you whether it's an online coupon that you use or it's an in-store coupon. So again, another feature that I'm very excited on um, launching. So you know, the the final feature that I did want to uh, you know bring up was advertisement. You know, with our current platform, we really didn't monetize on the traffic. Besides the activity of purchasing, we we didn't really monetize on the activities or, or the traffic that we could generate that you guys are actually helping us generate. So this new go around with both the mobile app as well as the desktop, we will be implementing ads. Now, how that's going to work is that before, when people are actually doing a search for either a coupon or daily deals or flights, um, while it's actually scouring our database to bring you the best results, it will temporarily bring up an ad um, that, that you know that the user will actually look at, and you know it'll it'll stay there for about however long it takes for our database to scour uh, the best deals, and then it'll take them to the results page. And that, that's the methodology that we're going to be taking. Um, of course, once we launch this, we're going to be taking a feedback uh, from the field, you know, seeing what's working and what's not. But this is definitely going to help with the, the, the main thing here is uh, this next stream is, you know, what, what is actually the main purpose for this overall improvement for our app? Right. Um, I mean, we're going to be increasing. We're going to be trying to increase engagement in the usability of our system. We're going to try to implement an easy system so you can actually attract more users to use our system. And finally, we're going to be implementing ads as such so that we can monetize on our traffic. Well, what's the ultimate end goal here? The ultimate end goal really is to increase usage income. Because if we can actually do that, if we can increase usage income. I mean, we got, you know, it's going to be a slam dunk for our business, for your business, you know, the moment we do that. So, I mean, that's, you know, again, we have been, we have been planning this since, uh, you know, actually it probably, um, you know, around September of last year. Um, we've already started working with a new programming company as, as we speak. Um, you know, I probably have a meeting with them every other night. Um, we are on a tight deadline, but you know we are looking to actually at least 
at least launch our mobile apps uh, by our four-year anniversary and then quickly following the web platform. So again, I'm, I'm just, I just can't wait till we, until we launch our new app. And you know, I look forward to it. I look, look forward to it. So back to you, Michael. Michael, I think you're on mute still. Okay, I thought I was on okay. mute the whole time. Thank, thank you. No, I've got it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I've just been talking for like 10 minutes. All right. Back no, to you, Michael. Guys, thank, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Thomas. Um, I think, you know, a couple of the things that we're looking at, guys, is that we're looking at, as Thomas could tell you, you know, there, there's really um, part of the changes and so forth that we're making, ultimately, we're looking to be able to increase the usage income, increase your usage income. So for every app that you give away, you know, right now it's been averaging anywhere from $2.20 to $2.40 per active user. Our goal is to get it up there, you know, in the $4 range um, for active user, but also to be able to make it easier to be able to use and share our app too. So those are the things that we've been working on. Again, when you look at some of the things that we're incorporating, that's going to get us there. That's going to get us to that 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 four dollar um, goal that we have. You know, we've got the local, for example. You know, with the local, you can now bring in local businesses. Uh, you'll be able to, you know, in bringing in those local businesses, you can do it anywhere in the world. So as, as we expand into different parts of the world, you know. Rather than then waiting literally on us getting those relationships, those affiliate relationships with the top e-commerce companies, at the same time, we'll be able to bring in those local businesses to provide the additional value in the app. Um, we've created the new product search to make it easier to be able to do the product search. We've changed the invite system. We've taken your feedback. We basically modified the invite system to make it easier for you to be able to invite people both as customers and to be able to look at the affiliate opportunity as well. One of the great things about the invite system is not only does the system notify you when there's a new customer, but you get to see your growth on a world map as well with regards to that. We're working on changing and improving the loyalty program. The loyalty program ultimately, and we've got a number of different things that we're going to do for this, but again, it's to drive the engagement. People will be able to get points not only for inviting new uh, affiliates or new customers, but they'll also be able to get points for doing shopping and doing different activities. So you're going to see an increase in the loyalty program as well, again, towards that end of increasing engagement. The coupon feature. You know, with the coupon feature, we're looking to be able to get added value with our app as well so that people are using the app, again, increasing the engagement. And then on the advertisement side, you know, working with a mobile ad network to be able to deliver ads also as people are using the, uh, you know, using the app. And with that, we, we make money from the use of those ads as people basically view the ads through the mobile ad network. And, you know, with that, that's going to also increase the usage income as well. So, you know, part of it, again, is that, you know, the feedback that you've given us, we've taken that feedback, we're making those changes, we're making good progress with regards to those changes, all about really continuing to increase that customer experience for you. Because we know if we make it easier to be able to use, we make it more valuable, we increase the engagement, we make it a better user experience, and it builds the usage income. And those are some of the things that we've been working on. Again, you know, we're, we're looking to have the mobile app. The goal is basically to have the new mobile app for you guys at our four-year anniversary in May. Um, the one thing that I hope that you appreciate, it is a process. Um, you know, when you develop new technology and so forth, it is a process. The process is, again, you wire, you create wireframes, you then take those wireframes, you create designs, you then take those designs, you create basically a, a, a use case document, and then from that, you then go out and bring in the developers to go ahead and develop it. So it is a process. Um, we only work with the best people uh, because we want to have the best app that's out in the marketplace. So with that, uh, you know, I want to thank everybody for their time today. Really, really excited about 2016 and what the opportunities are because I'll tell you with all of this that you're seeing with regards to the company and all the progress that we're making with regards to the new marketing promotion programs like 
the diamond bonus, the tab bonus, the get four, pay no more. Um, you know, when you look at those programs that we've instituted and then you look at the refinements that we're making in our product, and then overall, guys, when you look at the, the trends that we're in front of that are sweeping the world right now, um, you could not be in a better place at a better time than where you are right now with Sherlock Nation. So again, thank you very much for attending this morning. We're going to have, we, we just got to notice that we have people that couldn't get on because we, we actually sold out the room here. Um, so we're going to have a, uh, a recording of this that we will be sending out to all you guys to be able to share and then also look for it in your back office. We'll have the recording in the back office. So thank you very much for your time today. Um, looking forward to seeing everybody soon. Uh, let's finish out the month here of March strong and uh, have a great weekend.